Hey friends, welcome to the Friday Drive. Tim here. Um, we've got a lot of new people on the Friday Drive. Excited to welcome you guys to this, and we just keep adding people to the tribe every week. So grateful for you to be on this. I'm going to get right into our concept for the week. Uh, keep this video short. All right. I want to talk to you about what it means to run a really great meeting and how you set yourself up for that. It's a concept we call clarity of framework. All right. And so think about it as, as if somebody invited you to something, they asked you to be a part of something, a, a problem solving and a brainstorm, ideation, whatever it is. And you go in with really no knowledge of what we're doing, um, not really understanding the purpose of the meeting, any of those kind of things. There's probably an uneasiness. There's probably a, a, a reserved nature that comes into that, that you walk in and you're like, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know what you guys need from me, but I'm here. That's about how 90% of meetings are run in the United States, okay? Because no one really teaches us how to run a great meeting. The first component is establishing clarity of framework. And so there are four parts to this. I'm going to run through them really quick. These are really simple concepts that I think you guys can master in, uh, in, a, in a very short amount of time, okay? So first is, can we clearly state the problem, okay? So number one is, do we know the problem that we're trying to solve? By just coming in and saying, guys, here's why we're here. This is the purpose of the meeting. We have a problem that we're trying to solve. We have a situation that we're trying to resolve. We have a, 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 an idea that we're trying to get off the ground. Whatever it is, can we state the problem? Um, and these are all going to be P's, and you'll figure that out as we go. So the, first of all, we've got to give clarity around what it is we're here for. What's the purpose or the problem that we're trying to solve in, in, in this meeting? Okay. The second thing is the people. So you're going to be inviting certain people to the meeting. And we do this all the time, guys. We invite people to meetings that don't need to be there because we're trying to either appease them or make them feel like they're part of something or whatever. Don't do that, okay? Everybody needs to know why they're in the meeting. So I, I'd like to say, hey, here's the problem we're trying to solve. And by the way, that's why I invited you, John, to be a part of this because you bring a knowledge from this part of the business. That's why I invited you, um, Sally, because... There's something that you, you bring to the table. I feel like that um, your open mind to some of these ideas is going to be really valuable because you're going you're gonna to be able to ideate with us. Whatever it is, let the people know. Acknowledge them and let them know why they've been invited to the meeting and why it's part of, of what we're doing here, okay? All right, third, and this is not going to be a surprise to anybody, is the process, okay? The process. What is the agenda? How do I give you clarity of framework around what we're going to be doing and how we're going to be spending our time? And so, especially if I can let you know ahead of time to say, this is the agenda, if I can send that out ahead of time, people kind of now know exactly how we're going to spend our time and they can prepare for that. They can almost start thinking through the agenda and going, okay, I, I see how I can contribute at every one of these levels. When we don't send that out, when we don't give them access to the process, what happens is we don't know what's next, and so there's a little bit of fear, a little bit of trepidation, a little bit of reserved nature coming into the meeting, and sometimes that can cause some problems, and we won't get all the things done that we want to get done. And then lastly, if we do these three things, we've got to lay out for them what's the payoff, okay? What's the payoff? Ultimately, what we're talking about here is what does success look like? I can say this in the, all of these things in the beginning of the meeting. Look. Here's the problem we're trying to solve. I have you in this room for this reason, those of you who are in this meeting. Here's the process we're going to take, and I'm going to walk you through that. And then lastly, here's what success looks like. This is how we'll know that we achieve what we're after. And when you give them what success looks like, everybody is targeting that same success. Okay, we're all going after it. And so this process of clarity of framework, if you just do these four things before every meeting, there's some things to do after the meeting is over as well, but I want to set you up for a great meeting. This is the way you do it. And if you start running your meetings this way, you'll see high impact and you'll see a, a lot of resolution coming at the end of those meetings. And it won't be just this open-ended, so what did we really do in that meeting? It'll be very focused on the things that, that we've talked about here in terms of what that looks like. This is how you set yourself up for a great meeting, okay? So that's our concept for the day. Um, I also want to just mention to you, there are two things, as you know, we talk about what's going on at Five Capitals. Uh, one of the products that we have is called a 360. Um, we just launched our 360s um, probably a year, year and a half ago, uh, and that has been picking up quite a bit. And so if you want to learn more about our 360s, I put a link below. This is a 360 analysis around a leader uh, or around a person in your organization that you want to really help them understand what it's like to be on the other side of them. 
um, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, what their opportunities are for growth, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're going to really develop your people, you need to understand and help them understand kind of where they stand in the organization. You can check that out on the link below. And then lastly, we've just launched our March podcast um, in Caffeinate. And so I put a link to that below and we are going on to um, or into a series called The Seven Essentials of Business. We have an e-course on it, but this is going to give you some of that insight, some of that, uh, at least enough uh, of a taste of it to decide if whether or not that's something you want to look into for your business. It's a great way to assess your business. It's also a great way to, way to bring health to your business by looking through those seven essentials. Okay, and so take a look at it. If it's right for you and your business, uh, it'll be great. And we're going to kind of focus in a little bit more in the next series of podcasts um, on the business aspect of, of what you guys are working on. Okay, grateful to have you guys as always. Um, I'll see you next week on our coaches calls. Let's go do something great together.